Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm going to talk about the subject of toxic health and that is toxic electromagnetic radiation exposures. And we're going to use this sheet of mylar film, it's also known as space blankets, to demonstrate the toxicity of radio frequencies and how easily they are introduced into your environment. And to do that we're going to use this standard AM radio. So this AM radio has an auto-tune feature and it's currently looking for a radio station and you can see that by that number cycling up and what it's looking for is a radio station. It can't find one because it has nothing connected to its antenna input. So we're going to use the space blanket as an antenna system and you're going to be surprised at the amount of radio frequencies that are on this space blanket. So let's connect it up to the antenna system and let's see what we get. And all I'm using to connect it up is an alligator clip. So it's now connected on with an alligator clip to the input. And we're going to start scanning through. So we've already got a radio station. So let's see how many radio stations are on there. And the thing that surprised me was the amount of radio stations that showed up. And it works very, very well as an antenna system. And this is consistent with some work I did for the book Toxic Electricity, where I actually slept in and on my law film for several weeks. I actually got very sick. And one of the reasons for getting sick is clearly the fact that it has radio frequencies on it. So if you're in contact with anything that's producing a lot of radio frequencies and it's acting as an antenna system, you're going to get radio wave sickness. And radio wave sickness is very unpleasant to have. And the book talks about radio wave sickness. So just be wary that if you're using these mylar film sheets for electromagnetic screening, that they do indeed have radio frequencies on them. And you wouldn't want to be near to them, nor in contact with them, because radio frequencies will jump across gaps. So if you're sitting close to them, they may well start coupling in those radio frequencies to your body. And most certainly if you're in contact with it. Now, if you're in contact with a sheet of mylar film like this, it may actually make you quite ill with extended exposure. And that was the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.